folks, welcome back to Maple Farm for Farm Sim 22, yes indeed. Species 7 here, hope you're all having a great day. It's a bit of a chilly wet one here on the beautiful sunshine coast of BC, but hey, it is, uh, well, barely spring has sprung, so it can only get better. The cows are doing, yeah, not bad. Uh, you gotta eat a little faster. Well, obviously you don't. But all of you, you gotta get in here and eat some of this. We gotta get some of the hay out so I can get you some fresher grass while there's still some to get. Get it? Shaking your head no, well, that's just fine. And how's all our little pinks? Don't run away, I saw you out here. Come on, oh yeah, pretend you're just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, I know what you're like, pig. I know what you're like. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Not worrisome yet, but it ain't getting better by itself. Is this thing close enough? 430 kilos, eh? Yeah, it's completely full. It's completely full. What? I'm being nice to you. Don't grunt at me. And the chickens, who are also doing reasonably well, but we do have uh, Dexter enough. Unbelievable! Every time I start a video, he starts just yowling. But he's not getting attention. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, so things are pretty steady, Freddy. Here, we've got. The other fields tended. What I'm actually hoping we'll find is that our corn will be ready. No, still not quite. Super ripe, super ripe, super ripe. Not ready to harvest. Okie dokie. Well, then I think what I'll do is run our heavily overloaded wee lizard miner motor that's what it's called see oh miner engine sorry wouldn't want to uh, wouldn't want to stick it with that stigma hmm funny it says 5,000 liters is 86 percent yet it's clearly overloaded and it only holds 1700 liters so yeah I think we broke it Oh, I moved the shop mod. It is now sitting in the middle of that field over there. So we get no more interference up here. Please stop. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I love that little truck. Okay. So we have already produced some sugar. I moved it over to the dairy uh, last night, just before we called it a day. <clears throat> well, I called it a day. I don't know what you guys were doing. Now, um, we have breaks here. Hey, I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> Literally, when I said breaks here, yeah, full breaks. That's how long it takes. So yeah, it takes some getting used to, but as you can see, if I can manage it, well, anybody can. All right, let's uh, let's oh, oh it. Okay, you see, it's overloading something. I don't know what. We're still gonna have to tip the trailer. Oh, I just did. So. Uh, yeah. We had just over 5,000 liters in the truck. Not bad for something that carries 1,700. Oh, there we go. We've got a little more sugar than we do indeed. But as you'll be able to see here, we already have some sugar. Three boxes full. 
because they are heavy, but I mean, it, it's downhill. You can pretty much just drag the thing. Ooh. Um, okay. Well, it doesn't seem to be a real issue. No. It's just a piece of, uh, sticky stuff. Oh. Boy, I tell you, this is proof that just because you can do a thing doesn't mean you should do a thing. Are you done complaining there, Dexter? I don't know what's up your butt lately, buddy. Oh boy, oh boy. The noise is what comes out your face. What, you thought I was gonna walk over here? Uh, why 64%? I don't know, that's precision farming. I guess because I didn't do the little circle bleeps, pay the money, get the results thing that, uh, well, we're not going to get the results. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, across the road here. <laughs> and uh, you thought the other one was lazy. Whoa, thank you. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> we are all going to die. Oh. Well, that won't do. I'll end up running over that with my tractor, man. There we go. But yeah, you can see I took this hedge out. What I'm planning on doing, this is uh, an unplanted field, right? It's waiting for spring. What I plan on doing is, if and when this corn ripens, and uh, yeah, I'm really starting to think if has a lot to do with it, I'm going to uh, take this edge and run it so that it makes contact with this edge. And all the twixt between. And that will be our new cornfield. So. Trade you straight up. <laughs> you wish. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, once the cows produce some milk, that sugar will uh, be made usage of. <clears throat> Snappy little sucker in it. Woohoo! Uh. I was really hoping that stuff was going to be ready, let me tell you. Okay, those. Um, This canola? Yeah, it is. Okay. Ooh, we don't need that. Release the strapples. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And this is seeds in the sunflower. Actually, all of these are for oil production. We have sunflower seeds for our piggies. So, as these are nice and light, as you can see by the white hand. We'll pop that guy in there. Excellent. Yeah, we'll pop most of this guy in here. Cool. And you can go there. You can go there. And as we got away with it last time. Uh, 
Should be another strap. Where's the other strap, man? No strap? No strap for you. Okay. Oh. And, uh, whoop. Whoopla. What do you get? That, by the way, <clears throat> the ability to suck that thing back into my hand or towards me that's the precision hand mod and I'm a little bit of an idiot when I was faffing about with that shovel I had no idea that mod existed it actually loads into your mod folder if you get that shovel um, and it allows you to turn the shovel over move it in move it out do all those things so that mod works perfectly fine as usual it was user error and i say as usual because well i was the user making the error so yeah there you go the shovel mod works just fine you just have to use uh, precision hands with it so uh, i think you forgot what you were doing yes yes briefly only briefly though we're actually just going next door the oil factory. Okay, okay. Bump, bump. I could have cut right through there, I guess. Instead of coming out onto the road. Alright. Brakes, brakes. There you go. Didn't need to stop, thank God. Oh. Could it be? It is. We are producing oil. Nice. Alright, here we go. Whoop. Oh, the canola. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Well, let's overload the canola first. Sunflowers. And the mill will produce some. There we are. That should be. That's pure canola oil. Wow. Nice. All right. Um, do I need to tell you to make both types? Probably. Eh? Sunflower oil, canola oil, or both active. So there you go. Yep, 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 yep. The only thing it's not running is olives because, well, we not make olives here. At least not at the moment. All right. And what goes on in here? Uh, more? Really? He didn't have enough of more. Is it the same dude? Moondog. Okay. Moondogger. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. It is too. Dude really likes his sugar beets. I'll tell you what. That's uh... Get a little bit crazy. Okay, let's pop those straps. There we are. You like that Linda Blair? Some of you will get that. Kind of a meh day out here, isn't it? Oh, right. <laughs> Just kidding. So this does have a, quite an impact on vehicles that go by. 
I don't think there's a darn thing I can do about it, to be honest. Um, I should probably pull him around the corner a little bit, eh? There we go. There. Now if I happen to launch a front wheel coming off the top of that little humpty dump in something too heavy to stop quickly, or if something too light that has no brakes, I won't hit anything. Okay, the plowing's done. Our tractors are here. That's there. It's all looking good. We need our stuff to ripen. Alright, this is... What are you doing? No, it doesn't actually tell you. Oh, did I not... Uh, are you not running? Is that the... Uh, ooh. Hello? Well, just... Uh, thought I'd let you know that you can start that up. Oh, there you are. Now it's running. Ah! Okie dokie. Okay. Just pumping it out. <laughs> Alright, so what do we got going on here? Oh yeah, I've got another... These were supposed to go down there as well. Dang! Handy little rig. wheel and that lines right up. Boom. Strap her down. Alright, what do we got going on over here? Sugar beets go down to the factory. So, pop those over there. And spuds go into the shed for the piggies. And beets. And spuds. Spuds. Whoops. You're doing a great job there, species. Great job. set of sugar beets this time. I'm not going to worry about taking them over at the moment. Like I said, we don't have, uh, don't even have the milk to put with it. That's the only thing we're using the sugar for. And we really can't do much else about the piggies. I mean, yeah, I could load more potatoes into the mixer, I suppose, but I think it's got a fair few of them. And, uh, so 
so far not doing us any good. We need to harvest our corn. Until we do, this whole bit's a bit redundant. That's a good plan. <clears throat> Darn near need the headlights. Yeah, I know, don't bother pushing the gas till the little red light goes out. It's got some kind of pre-starter or something, I guess. I mean, it sure as heck ain't a diesel. You're not waiting for the glow plug to uh, come up to temps. Yeah, do you see how much of a bounce that car took? do say on here. Uh, well, 5,000 liters. Certainly a good start. 7,000 liters of sunflower. But we actually have seed in the, uh, what you gonna call it there? Yeah, like I said, I don't think we'll bother running those down. Oh, I want to see what the levels are on the greenhouses themselves. Ooh, that's what I thought. Okay. Definitely getting down there, eh? Hmm. That's not good. But considering the output, it's certainly worth it. Um, hmm. I think pretty much the rest of the day is kind of a dud. All I do, all I do. Although, you know what might be a plan? I think we're gonna fire one more jug in you before I take you down there. Because if I do end up doing both of the fields, I don't know what I'm doing, do I? No, it's not here anymore. 
Uh, it's way the heck over there or somewhere. Or at least that's the theory. I mean, it's not like it, you know, leaves that gold ring on the ground. Okay, let's jump in. Let's go to boxes of Yanus. Uh, yeah, palats and liquid furt. Details by is okay. All right, should be right there. Lovely. Okay, that's pretty much where I wanted it. Boom. Fill her up. Yeah, I plowed that one big field yesterday, and guess what I remembered? Just as I was about to finish the headland, I have course play on, or not course play, GPS on this stupid tractor. So yeah, I fired up the GPS, and the rest of the field went in half the time. <laughs> All right, I think what we're gonna do is. zippity do across here. Obviously we can't furt that. We can't do that one, but I think we should be able to do our grass fields. And I would really wouldn't uh, wouldn't hurt my feelings to get better numbers out of them this time around. So I don't know why I thought this would be quicker. Quicker, quacker. How are these doing? They don't require anything. You're growing canola with no issues. You're growing goats with no issues. Alrighty. Lovely. Lovely that. Alright. So. Now we'll just zip through the... Sugar Factory parking lot. Once again, hope no one's coming. At least this thing has brakes. I feel a little better driving it around. But yeah, that field there. I'd just gone around the headland and went, hmm. Look at all those extra little dials and stuff beside the speedo. Oh yeah, GPS. That was... Uh, what I spent the extra, what the heck was it? $15,000 or something to install it on here? It's just crazy. Just crazy. So we do own this farm as well, eh? But we don't have the finances to run it. So it's just going to sit here. This is an all-out make them go animal farm we've got a major cow buyer here we've got some small uh, two smaller bars here we've got uh, sheds and poop bins and we've got ourselves a slightly larger cow barn here one here We've got some extra chickens over there. And way down in the back, we've got ourselves a great big pig pen. So yeah, but like I said, we can't, uh, we can't afford to actually run any of it. And here's the gear that we have. Here's an old Fent Favorite 500. This is actually the 515, a slightly bigger model. A tanker to move liquids around. And that's it. Like I said, we can't really afford to uh, run it at the moment. We're looking at a couple of hundred thousand dollars to get livestock in and to make sure we've got the food stores, which we probably won't have until the next season. Um, these are the extra bales that we got off our field that weren't quite, uh, quite going to make a trailer full. So yeah, 
But this, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to, uh, needs plowing. Yeah, I don't think I want to plow it, to be honest with you. But what I do want to do... Oh! I'm sorry. It freak you out as much as it freaked me out, dude. Believe me. Yeah. Yes. Um, like I said, fertilize. So, let's see what we got going on here. I think this is going to be the perfect lighting for this, eh? These slightly cloudier days makes it uh, reasonably easy to see different things going on on the field. Okay, those are solid. I wasn't sure. Now I am. So we'll come up just a bit. Alright. Oh yeah. I thought, uh, come on. shouldn't have that issue now. It fit over the first one. I figured it was going to fit over them. Apparently, that was just because of the angle of the hill. But so it goes. I just have to learn to be a little more skilled. closer <laughs> yeah I'm completely misjudging uh, how far away I need to turn to do this properly definitely See that still? Man. Still not far enough, eh? Wow. Okay. I suppose instead of skipping through the day, I could have a look for contracts. I never even thought of it. Could have been making money instead of sleeping. Hey. All right. How are we doing? We still got lots of spray.
Yeah, we got lots of room in our hay shed for bales of every description. So hopefully this will help us achieve that. Another 10 stacks of each type and then we can consider uh, slowing down on grass production. And sorry about the sibilation on that last word. I need to have a sip of my coffee. I'm just not looking forward to it because I'm pretty sure it's ice cold and disgusting by now. <laughs> Uh, what a day. Right. Yeah, I pulled the hedge out between those two grass fields as well. I'm not planning on combining it, I just, you know, one less object, as it were. How are we doing? 4,700. That's pretty darn good, actually. Okay. Fold them if you got them. Whoa, look over the fence. Sheesh. So... I went to, uh, up at the other farm, it was a nice sunny day yesterday, and I went to put a tree in the cow pasture, and it said too many trees, and I tried to put one somewhere else, um, just to see if it was maybe because I wasn't allowed to put it in the cow pasture, too many trees, but I've cut down hundreds of trees, you know what I mean? Why do these look so horribly different? Oh, I guess just different time, eh? Yeah, okay. That's all it is. This one's a stage or so past that one. Alright, let's uh, head up way up. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Perfect. Yeah, these are our sunflowers that aren't uh, ripe yet either. I believe these are ours. Yeah. <coughs> Unbelievable. I think uh, the reason that I've been sneezing so much, hang on a sec here. Might just be, sorry about that, because um, I changed up the kitty's litter a couple of goes ago. And I've noticed cleaning it, it's insanely dusty. Just not so dusto. So. Alright, let's get this deployed. And then I'm going to see if we can't use a little of the old EPS to get us tuned. Because this is definitely uh, like driving across a planet. Okay, uh... Nope. 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 There we go. Then it's this. Thank you. Auto with me now. Lovely, 24 meters. We will enable guidance steering. Don't know what that is, don't care, don't want that. Yes, we want to show the lines. And how is it 
See, when I click set A, I can't move my tractor. I have to come out of this menu. And then do that. And then reload this menu. And go set B. There we go. And now I have lines. Right? But... I notice when I see Sooty doing it, and then of course Alt X locks the steering, turn that on, hit the three, and go make yourself a copy. But I've noticed when Sooty does it, he clicks set A, and then continues to drive forward and clicks set B. But as soon as I bring that menu up, I completely lose control of my tractor. It's just weird. Now I wonder if it'll let me continue across to the next field. Because it's going to detect I'm almost at the end of the field when I'm almost at the end of the field. And it's not quite got the edge. It had it up there though. It's not the GPS's issue. It's just the field was slightly off. <laughs> but yeah, this should make a good difference. I know it says it wants the fields plowed, but I'm not going to do that and then just grass seed them in. It doesn't make sense. Okay, is it going to beep? Yeah. What if I don't care? Cool, you don't care either. <laughs> That's what I like to see. That is what I like to... What's that last field down there that's in a perfect line? Hmm. Yeah, we don't got a lot of money, man. But is that grass as well? Cause I'll tell you, at least this side's perfect, isn't it? It is too, eh? Hmm. The average Viking grass ready to harvest. Oh, man. Oh, man. How much? We can't afford it, I'm sure, but how much? Just out of the curiosities. Field of 51, eh? Oh, this is going to be rough, man. Field 116. Yeah, 107,000. Dang. Oh, and it's a high yield or two. Eh. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Think, boy. Think, think, think. Uh, what else is around here? How much is that? 46,000. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, oh, is there nothing there to get to? Uh-oh. That sucks. Um, yeah, there's just nothing around, is there? Oh, wait a minute, there's stuff here. Let's visit that. Okay. Now, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a lot of pricey stuff here, and we'll get like 500k for that thing alone. Alright, but I don't need that much. So, let's do this. And... Thank you. 
anything else small and janky. I don't want to destroy the place, I just not just uh, anything on the uh, 64. That was over a hundred, wasn't it? So the original money we got for this, that's still not going to be quite enough. This. This. Okay. Now. Let's go back here and sell it. Yes. Okay. Then we'll go up here and we'll buy this. Yes. There we are. Oh. Okay. So, now, well that one's ready, so we don't need to spray it, but what we are going to do... Yes. Okay. Okay, that cleared it right to there, perfect. Nice and easy. Cut all the hedges down in between them, and we're good to go. So this one's not quite as wide. That's okay. We will, in the end, even it all out. Send her back the other way. Geez, I didn't look at what time I started this video. <laughs> what else is new? I even built a clock to have right in front of me so I could always look at it and know exactly what the, uh, you know, of course, the hard part is you actually get a look at it. <laughs> Alright, you can just carry on right over that little bit in the middle. It's not even any point plowing it out. There we go, look at that. Well, as long as we have enough spray, this will all be good.
And then we'll wait for these two fields to catch up with the third one. It's grass. It's not like it's going to go, Oh, well, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to die now. No. So we'll wait when all three are ready. And then we will uh, do a monster mow. big self-propelled mowers cost. Let's have a look. Ooh, nice deal on that. Eventually we'd like to have one of those, I'm sure, if we're moving the amounts of milk around, we're hopefully going to be moving around. Uh, as for the rest of it, no. Not really into the, the T9s. Okay, so if we go here, when do we go? Here. Okay, this one has got a PTO and a trailer hitch so that you can uh, hook up a baler to it. Yeah. I don't know how well that works, to be honest with you, but, you know. Or a similar thing, right? I think it even... Yeah. I think this thing's designed to go with it. Something like that. Anyway, so 380k for that guy, and it's, oh, it's only 10 meters, eh? Hmm. I'm pretty sure that our moors are bigger than, oh, maybe not, 10 meters. That's, that's a fair chunk, and that 10.2. So, uh, yeah. I think we'll probably just stay with them from now. There's no real advantage in that other one. It's not like that, uh, I don't even remember what make it was, but there used to be a big red mower you could get, and it had a cargo box on the back. Right? And, uh, so you basically loaded the grass right into its own forage wagon. All right. Let's send you back. See, I don't think that's going to be worth the, uh, the time and effort. Hmm, looks like we're going to have a little, well, I guess it depends which way we go. If that last row going down, yeah, it doesn't look like it is. I think that's going to be a going up row. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. I don't think it's going to work out evenly because of that sort of bulgy bit. But that makes it even with the other field, more or less. So that's a good thing. How are we doing for spray? Ooh, tons. Barely using it. Barely, barely using it. Whoa, whoa. Just keep on going, man. I look good. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice piece of kit, that Kubota. Kitten Kubota? <laughs> anyway. That's, uh, sucking up too much fertilizer fumes there, bucko. So, 
Well, that's pretty progressive, you know. I've used uh, follow me and GPS on one map. <laughs> uh, I tell ya. I mean, heck, I hardly ever even use builders or diggers in colony survival, so... I'm one of those sort of people. I thought it's plenty to do it myself. Yep. <laughs> Turn it around. Ooh. These are going to be close. I suppose I could have just hired a worker to do this. Turned the GPS off and hired a worker. But... I think we're almost at the end of the episode anyway, so I'll just run it out here and see how it goes. What's in that over there? Oh, oh that's the uh, the really steep grass hill. Not that any of this is by any means, uh, you know, not steep. Let me tell you, this entire field here has got quite the quite the slope to it. But that's a lot of grass area, eh? From way up there to way down there. Yes. We are the lords of the grass. <laughs> so I know it's a little late in the episode, but uh, big shout out to all my regular viewers. Hope you're all having yourselves an absolutely wonderful day. I'm looking forward to the weekend and all of that guffy stuffy. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Okay. We're going to have to ignore that for the first part of the journey. We might be able to catch up with it when we get up there. So, away we go. It's not like we'll be wasting spray. All right. Okay, let's go to auto drive. No. Let's go to auto steer. There you go. Look at that. Jeez, I'm good. <laughs> I can push a button. I can push a button. Yeah. Well, actually, two of them. Oh, man. The talent's making me head swell. Yeah, I feel like the smartest one in the room. Well, except my freaking cats are here, so... <laughs> it's a toss-up. It's quite the, uh, quite the accomplishment. I really hope it pays off, like I said. You know, we shall see. But having that extra field is going to be just wondrous. And that's going to really help things. And then I don't think I'll harvest it right away, though. We're going to wait till, uh, till they're all ready. But as far as this particular thing goes, I will uh, 
get this last row set up. So, I hope all of you have yourselves an excellent day. Don't forget to hit that like button. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.